Today I'm going to show you how to go from this to this for under 10 bucks and only using some basic tools. Hey guys, it's Dylan with the Seasoned Bike Packer, where I share unbiased reviews, tips, tricks, and general information about bikepacking gear, routes, and strategies. There are tons of options out there for wall-mounted bike storage, and it can get really expensive, with some swivel space-saving wall mounts in the hundreds of dollars. In this video, we'll install a space-saving option that will cost you less than three bucks per bike. So like, subscribe, and stick around until the end, and I'll give you my pros and cons of this simple system. We'll start by running down to your local Home Depot and picking up these Everbuilt heavy duty wall mounted bike hooks. At the time of this video, they're $2.12 per hook. They're rated for 40 pounds if wall mounted and 75 pounds if ceiling mounted. You'll need one hook per bicycle. Now let's gather some required tools. You'll need a power drill with a 3 8 inch drill bit, a measuring tape, a Sharpie, and a stud finder. Next, identify the space you'd like to install. Could be a garage, shed, or room. I'm using my office and studio, so this will serve as a new backdrop for these videos. Now we'll need to measure and find the wall stud. It's critical you secure these hooks into the stud. Don't just put it into the drywall or a wall anchor. The bike will come crashing down. I worked from right to left using my measuring tape and stud finder and place my first mark 28 inches in and eight inches down. This puts the bike neatly tucked away in the corner and at the perfect height off the ground. Drill your 3 8 inch hole and install your hook. Moving on to the next location, I located a stud about 32 inches over, which should provide enough distance to nest the bikes together just a bit. Drill and install the additional hooks. Now we'll clean up and get these bikes installed. Best way I've found to hang the bikes is wheelie the bike upon its back wheel, then grab the stem and position the seat against your abdomen and use your body weight to help guide the front wheel up over the hook. Then slowly let gravity work and the bike will hang in the natural position. Be sure to rotate the pedal out of the way so the bike sits against the wall, against the handlebar and rear wheel. A bonus, I found an extra hook in my toolbox so I decided to install it to hang my rear wheel from my gravel bike while it's on the trainer, which is pretty much any time I'm not riding it. So this solves this problem as well as looks nice and clean. That's it, you're done. Cheap and easy solution. Now that we've completed the installation, let's talk about some of the pros and cons of this budget system. Some of the pros, it's cheap. If you already have a drill and a stud finder, it basically costs less than $3 per bike. These would be the same tools required for installing the more expensive options. It's easy to install, super simple, find the studs, drill the holes, put in the hook. It does have a clean look. The hooks have a matte black finish, which hide them a bit, and also protects the bike's wheels. We have a Roomba robot for cleaning our floors. So now with the bikes off the ground, the Roomba can do a much better job of cleaning up this area. A few of the cons. You gotta watch the front wheel spokes when you're putting the bikes on and off. It's possible as you're taking it off, you'll hook a spoke, and maybe pull it down and damage something. You also need to be fit enough to lift the bike up vertically and hold it steady while installing. It may also scuff your walls. If you're mounting on the interior finished wall like I am, the handlebar end and tire could scuff up the walls just a bit. But this is nothing a little paint can't fix. You could have fixed some self-adhesive wall protectors normally used for doorknobs. If you wanted to cough up another 10 bucks or so, there are options online ranging from 1.5 inch clear circles to four inch squares. Well, that's it for today. Links are always in the description below. And if you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching, and remember, plan, pack, and pedal.